uh, it's not about driving them. It's about control. To remind the women that we are controlling. Women like Buthena Al Nasser aren't just emboldened lately. They're more driven than ever to change their society, even though they still aren't allowed to drive in their country. Uh, there's uh, nothing wrong uh, with women driving. A simple statement the world over, but a rallying cry in Saudi Arabia, the last country on earth where females are prohibited from getting behind the wheel. Which is why Buthena, a prominent journalist, moved to Lebanon. This morning, she takes us along while dropping her eight-year-old son, Hisham, off to school. She could be arrested for running such an errand in Riyadh. A new movement, the October 26th Women's Driving Campaign, aims to change all that by urging women to defy the driving ban. It's supported by a growing number of female and male voices. There is a, a group of uh, ultra-conservatives here who will try to do anything and everything to prevent women from exercising their rights, be it driving, going to school, working. Many, many men that I know, uh, we feel that uh, it is crucial for us to support uh, women who do this. Despite the growing pressure, the government has not indicated that it's going to review its position. So numerous women have already taken to the streets and posted videos of themselves driving. <laughs> <laughs> Some even receiving signs of support from men in their cars. In 2011, Manala Sharif was jailed for more than a week after doing the same. She's as determined now as she was then. For me, I wouldn't stop until the first driver's license is issued to a Saudi woman. Manal lives in the United Arab Emirates now, but insists things back home are getting better. When I shipped my car from Saudi Arabia to Dubai, I didn't change the plates because I'm planning very soon, inshallah, to take this car driving myself back to, back home to Saudi Arabia. It would be a fitting end to a long journey, but one that'll have to wait a while longer. This road trip isn't over just yet.